Okay. 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 I think that answers the first question for you. Well, uh, uh, I'm still fine. Thank you so much for the movie. Um, it's alright. Yeah. Uh, I didn't direct it. Oh, you didn't direct it? No, no, no I, I didn't. No, no, but what if you would have? Um, it'd be more hardcore. Oh, really? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, because uh, I think uh, a lot of people here, I think, hearing their reactions, uh, it's quite hardcore. But um, what was it, um, what attracted you most uh, making this movie, so, uh, reading the script also? Well, uh, actually it's a very, uh, um, the issue of uh, buying property in Hong Kong, it's a very local issue, so <laughs> at the moment Hong Kong is uh, the most expensive city to live in. Um, at the moment we have a saying that it's like, a monthly salary in Hong Kong is seventeen thousand dollars Hong Kong dollars, which is roughly about oh, uh, how much is that US? Uh, uh, about nine thousand, about nine thousand US dollars. No, no, two thousand US dollars for per month for salary. But the property prices in Hong Kong per square foot is nine nine thousand US dollars per square foot. So one square foot in Hong Kong is about 9,000 US dollars for property. And that's why we have this topic of uh, craziness with this film. So um, why we chose this film is because uh, 852 Film uh, uh, film Company is uh, um, created by Josie Ho and myself, um, my wife, <laughs> the crazy bitch. In there. <laughs> um, she's not here, so she's so many stuff. But, <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, Josie and I have been in uh, uh, Hong Kong cinema for a long time. I mean, Josie's done over 40 movies. I've done 30 movies as an actor myself. And um, at the moment in Hong Kong, we wanted to do something fresh for 852 Films, and the company formed, and uh, Pang Chang, the director, <laughs> approached us with this topic, and we were like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so you, you, the topic is sort of realistic. It's sort of real, it's happening. Yeah, it's but a very real issue in Then you developed the movie, and uh, why did you choose this style then, the slasher style? Well, um, the director and I are both horror fans. That's one of the major things, but uh, as a producer from my side, is that Hong Kong cinema, uh, in a way, has um, sort of, how do you put it? A lot of the movies that uh, they, they produce and they want to create, is geared towards China, the greater China. Hong Kong is, is a country in itself and China is the bigger mass market. And so a lot of the movies come out from Hong Kong now is all geared towards China, which is basically, I've been saying this with the interviews today, is like gangster films, prostitution films, or, or films with you know people with, in armor about history. So, um, with 852 Films and, you know, Josie and myself, we, we do things a little bit differently. So we wanted to choose a, a, a film that sort of breaks the mold, you know, outside the box, and that's, that's why we chose this film, yeah. And how is it uh, received when, they, when you released it? Oh, in Hong Kong it's great, you know. I mean, in, uh, in Udine uh, Film Festival, that was the first film festival we went to with Dream Home, this project. And uh, people fainted, people vomited, people went to hospital, but I can still, there's people here, so you guys are all right. So, right? so um, you know, in Hong Kong, you know, we, we, when we did the movie premiere, we invited a thousand people, and half was like all our friends, which is all the actors and all the people in the movie industry, and the other half was a, 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 a jewelry sponsor. And they were all the like the 45 year old Thai Thais, which is like the rich um, high society women. And when I was, you know, in the theater, I was watching them. Everyone's like, like theater one was our friend. Uh, theater two was our friends. Theater one was the sponsors. Theater two, everyone's like, ah. But theater one was like this. <laughs> and, and when they're walking out, 
because we've got a we got a water sponsor on board. And we, we're just giving water. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? So you know that's the response in Hong Kong, and it was it was quite good, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, we heard that one of the investors is uh, uh, Josie Ho's father. Uh, well, is this is our, uh, from our 852 film company. This is a film company that uh, Josie Ho and myself um, created. Uh, 852 Films being, 852 being Hong Kong area code. So it's, that's why it's called 852 Films. And, and the thing is, we wanted to um, do the next generation of Hong Kong films because, you know, as I was saying, it's all, you know, gangster films, prostitute films, and, you know, armor period pieces. <laughs> so, so, you know, that's, that's why we do it, yeah. Okay. Well, Paul. Uh, yeah, I have another question. Uh, what, how, what is the film climate in Hong Kong? Is it, I mean, there's a lot of movies produced in Hong Kong, and you want to do it in a different way. Yeah. Is that, how difficult is it to get that financed? Well, you know, I mean, the, the film climate in Hong Kong is really booming because of China. Um, that's if you do that certain, certain topic, certain theme, you could do that. But in for us, it's like slashing our own risk. It's like okay, let's risk, ri let's risk our money. <laughs> it's gonna work, no? <laughs> yeah, that, that's well, that's it. How no, I mean, it, it's, is it, can you say then this is just for fun, or I mean? Well, the, the whole thing in the movie at the end of the movie, you see, you know, Josie uh, uh, Dan Leeso, the character in the movie, finally gets her apartment. But at the end, you can see that her bed doesn't even fit in the room that she lives in. So basically, I think uh, the director, Park Ho Chung, his message is basically in Hong Kong, you, you, whatever you do to buy this dream home or this apartment, it's basically no fucking use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, can you tell us what is your next project? Uh, we've got a couple of projects coming up. Um, we got uh, one with an uh, Asian director called Wong Jing Po. From um, he did Jiang Jiang Wu, which is a, a tri gangster <laughs> gangster film with uh, um, Jackie Chan and Andy Lau. But we're gonna we our next film is a psychological thriller, um, sort of hardcoreish like this. I don't know, maybe we the wrong medicine. We, that's why we're doing this sort of stuff. And then um, we have a, uh, another movie come up, which is a co-production with um, a director called uh, Hanny Abelsad, who did Paradise Now. And we're going to do a sort of an action black comedy with him in, in the US. So that's the film after. Okay. Busy, busy. You have another question or shall we wrap it up? With oh. a tie wrap. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's do, do that. Do that. <laughs> okay, I think already a little bit drunk. I have one more uh, uh, announcement, and I have to get Doris back on stage because she has the final message for us. Thank you, Mr. Commercial. Oh, yes, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.